I need earrings. Good morning. Oh, I'm all very enthusiastic. I've had a revelation. I've worked out why I'm not sleeping very well. Because I'm not having three meals a day. I'm not going to bed with a full tummy, so I keep waking up hungry in the night. Because we've been having like a small breakfast and then a lunch at like 3 p.m. And then not eating again. I've never done that in my life and I've always slept well. And now I'm not eating big dinners and not sleeping well. Well, I just thought I'd put something nice on. Oh, All of you? Yeah. All five of us. You saying I've only got two viewers? <laughs> <laughs> Mum and I are off to... Is it a Lidl or an Aldean? I can never tell the difference between the two. This one's a Lidl. We're off to Lidl. So we've literally got no food left in the house. Which is why I'm starving and not sleeping. Are we having a roast today? What roast are we having? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Does that mean we get crackling? Yeah, it does, oh, there's it? a helicopter up there. Yeah, I just went over the hospital. Oh yeah. Oh, not nice weather for a hosp uh, for a helicopter. The temperature has dropped and it's very windy. It sounded like the roof was going to blow off the house last night. I had a dream last night that I bumped into the Fletchers in Disneyland and I told Tom how much I hated his stupid teapot challenge and then Craig accidentally pushed Buzz down the stairs and he like broke his nose. So sorry about that. Mum and I wrote Easter cards for all of our friends and family and we, in those cards we wrote poems and we personalised each of the poems to whoever the card was going to but we picked all the best kind of couplets out and made one big poem um, that we're going to read to you later, aren't we? Yeah. We were going to go to the woods and do it all arty farty but um, it's cold and I don't think I want to leave the house. Yeah. Go to the bluebells. I think we need some exercise today at some point. Yeah. Coffee and then one. Coffee for cafeteria. The only things in the world that give me anxiety are the London Underground and the checkout at Lidl. We did it. And the sun's come out. That was actually very bearable. We didn't have to queue. And they had everything we needed, including plain flour. The uh, poetry recital is about to start, so if you could grab a drink, uh, take a seat, please make sure your phone's on silent, and, uh, and enjoy the show. This is the Corona Poem by Jules Murray and Harriet Murray. Oh, there's someone coming. <laughs> oh, we could do a little sound, um, how you can sing the sound. Hello, hello, hello. Happy Easter from Mum, Craig and me. Bored as I am, I hope you'll agree that a poem in the vlog, we'll cheer your day and wash the corona blues away. And think of the fun when I see you next, assuming no blindness from all the box sets, when we're super fat and super hairy with a monobrow and a bush called Mary. When our quizzing brains are an all-time high and jigsaw's done in the blink of an eye. When we haven't worn pants for the whole spring season and we find ourselves cleaning for no f***ing reason. When the garden weeds are afraid to grow and we get excited when the lawn needs a mow. When all the new recipes have been made and we're downing wine like lemonade. When sleeping in late is no longer nice and we're feeling as skint as the local church mice. To all my friends, I love you lots and send Easter wishes in buckets and pots. Please surface slowly to avoid the bends. Stay safe, keep well, my wonderful friends. We're back from our woodland walk. We're washing our hands and we are prepping for our roast pork roast. Anyone seen my slippy doos? I wonder who was the first person that took an apple from a tree, apart from Eve. And bit... <laughs> And bit into it, and we're like, that is delicious. 
or like a nectarine. Who bit into a nectarine? And what was their reaction? Oh, mama. Holy moly. This is the bit where mum takes the crackling off for Craig and I. I, I don't and want we it love to, her forever. I don't want it to go dry. So just... Thank you, Willis. That'll be my dinner. <laughs> oh, ho, 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 yes. I have spent the last couple of hours reading my Elton John book and having a very little nap. But we are about to have a Zoom call with Elliot and Lou and Mum and Craig and Craig's kids um, because Louise has written us a quiz. I think it's mainly a picture round quiz. So we're doing that in about half an hour but Louise has just asked me to um, give her a code so she can practice sharing her screen because I don't know if she's used Zoom very much before. Um, so I'm just waiting for her to come on now. Oh, here she is. Christina Aguilera, got ya. There you are. Oh, you need to put your audio on. I'm on. There you go. Okay. Oh, yeah, we'll leave it there. We'll leave it there. Right, uh, James, as the uh, second youngest person here, pick a number between 1 and 12 that's not 4. 11. It's about two hours later now, and I am proud to announce that I won the quiz. It was the logo round that really boosted my points. All those years of playing that stupid iPhone game where you have to identify the logo, they finally paid off. I just realised I haven't filled my tummy before bed. We didn't have our munchies during the quiz. It's another bad night's sleep. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> We're just watching the BBC News before bed, but it's been a good day today, so thanks for watching this vlog. I hope you enjoyed the poem, and we'll see you tomorrow.